Hey guys, Crewman here. And every day it seems like there is a new Casper fork of a fork of a fork of a fork that releases. Everybody tells you that you should mine it and what to mine tells you it's the most profitable to mine and then other people tell you not to mine it. Well, in this video, I am going to show you how to make the most money mining the Casper forks if you are okay selling daily. Now, two quick disclaimers. One is none of this is financial advice. If you follow me, be prepared to go right off a cliff with me because that's where I'm going to end up. Two, this assumes that you want to sell daily. And it is obviously not a perfect method. I will go over some flaws in it at the end, but this is the best thing that I've come up with to via selling daily to maximize your profit and either cash out or invest the profits into coins that you actually believe in. Because let's get something straight. These Casper forks are very, very profitable to mine, but that doesn't mean I believe in them or I'd like to hold on to any of them long term. So let me help you navigate how to make money on these forks of forks of forks of forks. All right. So for a quick crash course in Casper forks, there are three different kinds of Caspa forks, basically. There are, there's Caspa, Cedra, and Bunga. And these are K heavy hash, the original ones. Now, the thing is, you should not be mining these as a GPU miner because none of them are ASIC resistant. I have ASICs on all three of these. Next, we have Carlson hash, the OG fork. You have three coins right now on Carlson hash. You have Carlson, Nexilla, and Nautilus. And finally, you have Pyram hash, which has, which is, which has two coins, Pyram and Husat. I would not recommend mining Caspa Classic, just pretend it doesn't exist. That's what I'm personally doing. So the biggest difference you need to know on GPUs, so we're using a single 3070, for example. Uh, the top one is Pyram Hash, and the bottom one is Carlson Hash. Pyram Hash basically does four, it's like between four to five times Carlson Hash, depending on some factors. But to keep it sim simple, so for every one mega hash you're mining on Carlson, you would be mining 4.5 mega hash on Pyram. Okay, now stay with me for this part. So what I do is every morning, starting yesterday, I basically have five windows open, right? I've got Pyram, Husat, Carlson, Nautilus, and Nexilla, all the network hash rates on mining pool stats. And then I have the prices for all of them. We have Nautilus, Nexilla, Carlson, Pyram, and Husat. Then essentially what I do is I take a look at the hash rates, right? So let's start with Pyram. This will be a quick example of how to see which Pyram coin is the most profitable to mine. So what I'm doing is I take the network hash rate of Pyram, right? And you can see it's about one point. Let me move my big, let me move my big beautiful head. It's 1.5 petahash, right? We look at the network hash rate of Husat. It's 2.41 petahash, okay? Or terahash, I'm sorry. So what we do next is we take our calculator and we're going to divide uh, 1550 divided by 241. So right now it is six. The Pyram hash rate is 6.34 times larger than Husat. So for every one Pyram you would mine, theoretically, you would be mining 6.43 Husat. Now I'm, I'm being simplistic with this so, and I'm not getting too technical, so stay with me. Next thing you do is you look at the price of Pyram and Husat and you compare the two. So what you wanna do is you wanna take the price of Husat, right? So it's 0 0.0049 and you wanna times that by 6.32 and you get three cents. So that is obviously not higher than the price of Pyram. So essentially, it is still more profitable to mine that one Pyram at 19 cents over 6.5 Husat because you would only make 3 cents uh, from Husat if you had sold. Are you guys with me? Let's take it a step further. Let's compare Nautilus to Pyram. So right now, the network hash rate of Nautilus is 29, 29 terahash. All right, let's compare that to Pyram, which is... 1.5 petahash, the extra step we have to do. So for Nautilus, you're going to take 29 and you're going to times that by 4.5. So in terms of Pyram hash, it is 130 terahash. So we're going to take 1550 
and we're going to divide that by 130. So for every one pyram you mine, you will be mining 11.9 Nautilus if you are on the Nautilus network. Let's check the prices and see how that compares. So let's go to Nautilus's price, right? So we're going to take 0 0.029 times 11.9 and we're going to get 34 cents. If you were to mine that 11 Nautilus and sell it today, you would make 34 cents. Where if you were to mine that one Pyram hash, you would get 19 cents. As of for today only, it is more profitable to mine Nautilus than Pyram. Now, basically, you want to do that with all the coins, you know, Nexilla and um, Carlson too. But you can kind of tell, right? So if we look at the Nexilla hash rate, it's about 18 Terra hash. So let's compare Nexilla to Nautilus because right now Nautilus is the most important thing to, to mine. So we're going to take, so it's about 15 Terra hash versus 29 Terra hash. So it's about half. So you take the Nautilus, you take the Nexilla price, which is 0 0.012 times it by two, and you get 0 0.024, which again is not as profitable as 0 0.029 a Nautilus. It's close, right? It's close, but it's not as profitable. That is what I am doing daily. So let's do a quick recap, and I'm gonna show it on pay. I'm gonna show the steps. All right, so as you can see up here, here's a quick recap. One Carlson hash equals 4.5 Pyram hash. So step one is you want to compare all the network hash rates. Step two is then when you have the network hash rate comparisons, you want to times those those yields by the price, and then you will see which one is the most profitable. There is there is a flaw. Okay, how I'm doing it is I'm selling I'm checking this every morning, and then I'm selling it every night or the next day. So theoretically, the price could jump in a downward trend or or an upward trend, and the yield could go in an upward trend or downward trend for any of these coins messing up the math. So theoretically, you have to check this all the time to be right. But look, guys, I'm not perfect. What this method is, is it's a daily method to at least have an idea of what the most profitable coin is so that you just so that you're just not sitting on a coin waiting for a pump that may or may not happen. Now, that is also a viable method, too, is just go for yield and hope you get the best pump. But I'm not playing with fire like that. I have to sell monthly and I've been burned on the pumps before. So this seems like the best method for me. And I will actually also be converting some of this profit into other coins that I want to hold. So thank you guys for watching this video. As of today, Nautilus is the most profitable. That could change tomorrow. Now I'm probably going to post on Twitter every day which one I'm mining. I understand that this kind of goes against what hashrate.no says. But I think hashrate.no's numbers are wrong. And I think you got to find which what the numbers are best for yourself. The only reason I check it, honestly, is to see what everybody else is mining. So I know whether or not I should avoid it or at least look into it. Most of the time I just avoid it. But I think hashrate.no's method is wrong and I think my method is right. Feel free to leave a message down below in the comments whether you agree or disagree. I hope this helps. Thank you again, guys, for watching. Please like and subscribe. Crew man out.